good morning all today we are going to learn a lesson children are angels so here under the topic of children are angels we have one more sub lesson called the boy who asked for more the story is written by mr charles dickens one of the famous writer in english and always he wrote about the child abuse and child labor and institutional cruelty against the children so this story tells you a tells about a boy who was forced to work at the very early age and somehow he was saved at the end and lived a beautiful life so let's read the story before that let's learn something about the writer charles dickens charles dickens the greatest victorian novelist he is known for his attacks on social evils like child labor and institutional cruelty his most popular works are david copperfield a tale of two ta- uh, cities and great expectations this extract from oliver twist tell us how oliver was forced out of the poor house so here we learn about a boy called oliver twist so oliver twist is a boy from a poor family and how he is forced and how he is troubled we are going to learn in this lesson let's read the first paragraph oliver was born in the poor house of a little country town on a cold black night in the winter of 1837 the birth was attended by a doctor who was hastily called for the purpose and by an old pauper woman who was experienced in such matters so who was oliver oliver was a boy from a very poor old house and he was born in 1837 in the year 1837 how was his birth and how were his parents the birth was attended by a doctor who was hastily called for the purpose and it was a time for the delivery of the boy and a doctor was urgently called for the purpose of the delivery and some assistant was there who was a pauper woman pauper means a poor woman and she had experiences in such delivery cases and she was asked to help the mother of the child next paragraph the mother died almost as soon as the baby took his first breath she was a young good looking woman who had been found lying in the street it was clear that she had walked some distance before she died her shoes had been torn to pieces where she had come from or where she had been going nobody knew so let's learn about the child's mother the mother died almost as soon as the baby took his first breath so the child when it was born within few minutes the mother died what was her condition she was a young good looking woman who had been found lying in the street even though she was good looking till she was very young she was lying on the road that means nobody was there to take care of her and she f- is she was found dead on the street it was clear that she had walked some distance before she died her shoes were had been torn to pieces so her condition was so miserable she wore a very old shoes which were torn which were torn into pieces and she died after walking for some time where she had come from and where she had been going nobody knew so who was that lady that also nobody knew where is she coming from even that was not known by not known by anyone and where she was going even nobody knew it Let's learn the next paragraph. The baby cried loudly. If he could have known that he was now an orphan or a, of a poor house, it is likely that he would have cried still louder. So, as soon as the boy born, he cried loudly. If he could have known that he was now an orphan or of a poor house, it is likely that he would have cried still louder. That means the boy crowed loudly as normal as a child cries but the writer thinks that if the child knew that he was born in a very poor house or an orphan 
lost all his relatives mother and dad he could have cried more louder it's likely that he would have cried still louder still louder he could have cried fourth paragraph they called him oliver twist a name invented by mr bumble the town beadle because he could not think of any other mr bumble had full authority over the people of the poor house he thought himself a very great man indeed he started and ill treated the children under his care oliver's ninth birthday found him a pale thin child who had hardly known a kind word are met with a kindly look his only friends were his little companions in misery but in the end they brought him trouble they persuaded him to ask for more